35 seconds left to send the game into overtime. This will be for the tie. He has three field goals over 50 yards in his career. This from 53. It's a fake. They pitch it. Can wow. you believe this? Not only did they get it, but it was a bad flip. He had to catch it off the bounce, and now they've got to spike the ball. The clock will reset, stop until they reset the chains, and they'll spike the football. Josh Jasper, the place kicker, comes up with the critical run. I said, if you're Florida, don't worry about the block. Be aware of a fake. The clock still hasn't started. There's 29 seconds. As soon as the referee moves away from the ball, they'll start the clock. Was it a legal play to begin with? Let's look at Derek Helton, the holder. Is it a forward pass and thus an incompletion, or is it a pitch? A lateral to Jasper. Tough to tell. Well, either way, it shouldn't hit the ground. I mean, that's supposed to be one that he catches in the air and runs. And this will be interesting to see the call. This Was will give you the throw? angle. It looks like it is completely in line lateral with the holder. Do they have indisputable video evidence to say otherwise? Remember, the play on the field is a first down LSU. <laughs> they have to have the indisputable video evidence. They cannot make a judgment. It has to be indisputable that this was a forward pass to overturn it, not a lateral. You know, Todd, I just think about the week that Les Miles has had and the guts it takes for him to call that in a spot like that after this guy has been lambasted and criticized and mocked all week yeah. long. Yeah, really a gutsy call. And, and, you know, they've run that before, but it hasn't bounced on the ground. And it wasn't supposed to bounce on the ground that time. But what presence by Jasper to catch it and still keep his eyes up and make the run. But now it's in the hands of the official. Let's give you another look here. Is it a forward pass or a lateral? Remember, ruling on the field is first down LSU. Look at that 43-yard line. From 43-yard line, was it to I don't the, think the they 43 can overturn that. I don't no, think I, they I can mean, at all times. It's so close, I don't know how they can overturn the call on the field based on what we just saw. How does Les Miles get himself into situations like this? The fact that this story would be written this way in the final moments after a week of nothing but talk of the crazed and confused ending against Tennessee. Well, and again, now let, let's let's think of the situation. If this play stands, there's 29 seconds. LSU's out of timeouts. Jarrett Lee is the quarterback. And he is their two-minute quarterback by choice. If they get inside the 10-yard line, then it's more Jordan Jefferson's territory. But right now, they're thinking field goal, and let's try to get to overtime. Replay officials Doyle Jackson talking things over with Steve Shaw, the referee. They're they are taking, taking a yeah. lot of time. And they should. You know, they got to get this. This is a huge call. Well, this is everything. The play that they're still reviewing happened four minutes ago. You know, what's, what's interesting is there was some question what they were going to do when the fourth down play. I thought they'd call timeout right away. I thought they were going to go for it on fourth down. Call timeout, make sure they got the play they want. They let it run down. They brought their field goal team on, and then they called a late timeout. Went over and talked about. This is the look that they've requested. You be the judge. Did that ball leave the holder and land in a direct line and or behind that line to be a legal play? If the ball 
was in front of that line, it would be an incomplete forward pass. We are waiting on the verdict, which will determine the fate of this game. Right now, Florida trying to cling to a three-point lead. stays alive. 29 seconds, no timeouts. Now, Officials the over the start. bar. The, as soon as they move away, the clock will start running. So LSU has to be ready to snap the ball. They should have plenty of time to get their play called, what they want to do here. They can't stop it with a timeout. They can spike it, they can get it out of bounds, or they can throw incomplete. Pressure on Lee. Gets rid of it. Here goes Tom. They want Jordan Jefferson in inside the five on this play, or do they keep Jarrett Lee in? You got to be careful. Try you can't run a running play here. You know you've got to throw it, and you've got a couple plays here. It's second down. You've got time with 15 seconds to run two pass plays if you want. You can't take a sack, and you can't run and get stopped short of the goal line. They said they worked on this all week long. Time management critical situations. Let's see the result of their work. Lee, the fade. That's it. Oh. Looking for Tom over 11 seconds remain. See, they got time for another play. It's third and goal. They're, they're well in range of Jasper. They're in perfect position. You can't get sacked, and you can't get stuck. They're going to call interference on that. Oh, look at that left arm. Yeah. Great goal over Tom. Here's your third and goal. Lee going for it again. Got it. Oh, my God. Terrence Tolliver calls it in. LSU takes the lead with six seconds to go. We need to take a look at this, though, Todd. Did he have possession? The exact same play to the same spot. Does he secure the catch? I think he did. I think he just tried to move it away from the defender. I think it's a catch. I didn't see the ball bobble. He just moved it into his left hand. That wasn't a bobble. The previous play is under further review. The last 10 minutes here <laughs> should be broadcast on Court TV, not ESPN. How about the call by Gary Croton? They had the matchup. They went for it on second down. They don't get it. They go right back to the same guy, same place on the field, same matchup, and this time they connect. But once again, we got to be judge and jury here. Well, there's the foot in. He's got the ball. He just moved it to his left arm only. The ball never bobbled. He never bobbled it. It never left contact with his hands. So now the replay official will decide again. Both hands on it, foot down, and then he just moves it to his left hand only. That, that, that's a catch. That's a touchdown off a great throw. Well, the good news for Tolliver and LSU and Les Miles is that the ruling on the field is the touchdown, just like the ruling on the field on the fake punt was in favor of them. So they would need that indisputable video evidence to overturn this, and it was tough to see there. You would think that would be more of a judgment call, not indisputable, to reverse that. But can you believe the drama? After review, the call on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. Terrence Tolliver. Wow. <laughs> unreal. It is unreal. Well, the plot twists that have taken place all week long, going back to that Tennessee wild ending. Les Miles. It was spin and damage control all week long. And then he gets right back in an even more dramatic situation, and they pull it off. The extra point is good.